Hello, this is the Aftermarket Report with Vegas and Jim, November the 15th, 2018, and I'm going to hand this right over to Miss Vegas. Hi, good evening everyone, and uh, we have missed you all. Jim and I have been very busy working on a couple other initiatives, so we thank you for uh, reaching out and uh, following us, and we're happy to be here tonight, and we'll continue with our episodes. So... Tonight, uh, we're going to talk about UGAS and DGAS, not to be confused with each other. And uh, we're going to talk about OGEN, RGSC, and an OTC pick, LCLP. So I'm going to turn it over to Jim, and we're going to talk about UGAS, which is the long natural gas ETN stock. And then we're also going to talk about DGAS. And that one there is the inverse natural gas stock. So, Jim, talk about those ones over to you since you traded both of them. Yep. Well, today and yesterday and all last week or all week long, UGAS has been running up and DGAS has been running down. Well, yesterday we noticed that, that uh, they were really acting belligerent, UGAS and DGAS. UGAS running up to... I still can't believe $260, and then DGAS running down all the way to $2.81 from a weekly high of 11.03. So it pulled on back yesterday, and I was and I tried to guess that we hit the bottom yesterday, and I had that completely wrong. So we took another big plunge from that $6. It dumped about $3 and something all the way down. So, well, so I got back in it after hours yesterday at around 290 and flipped it this morning, got out of it first thing, probably should have held it because it ran all the way up to about 485, somewhere about 480 something. And I flipped it all the way up, in and out, in and out, in and out, making small little, you know, every once in a while I'd get a big run, but. So that's DGAS, and that's the one I played the most. And then, you know, we got to talking to a couple others in the room. We decided to go ahead and flip you gas when it hit down at the bottom down there. And it bounced up all the way up to about 148 and then back down. I tried to catch a knife on it and missed it. I hit it the first time, but the second time I missed it. So that was you gas. I got out even on that stock. And those are the two we're going to talk about. I'm going to keep them on watch. I think D-Gaz still has some time to recover, but it's going to consolidate right now. I got two different levels I want to meet, and that's five bucks and five sixty-five. And same as you guys, I don't think I'm going to be comfortable seeing this thing till I see about eighty-eight dollars somewhere around there. So I'm thinking it's going to pull back some more, but. I think it's going to consolidate. We can get some bounces off this, some real good bounces maybe, from about 111 all the way up to about 123, 124. And then we'll see what happens from it. But that's you gas and D-Gaz. And the next one, Vegas. Oh, yeah. So the next one is O-G-E-N. And uh, Orogenix stock had a nice run a while back because they were at a conference. And uh, funny enough, they got some good news today that they've received clearance to enroll patients in Germany and also in the UK into their phase two clinical trial of a drug called AG013, which is for oral muscatus. And uh, this will be the clinical trial. It's a biotherapeutic product for prevention and treatment of the oral mucositis, and the approval will give them the, the chance really to um, get some data. And then if every FDA likes it, um, you know, this can eventually go to phase three, which is the commercialization part. Now, just to explain very quickly, what is this oral mucositis? This is really for um, a drug that's looking to assist uh, patients that are undergoing traditional chemo radiation for the treatment of head and neck cancer. So um, this will be, you know, something that will help with that. 
Um, they have been granted fast track designation for this. Uh, so this is good uh, news and uh, we'll see how the market likes it tomorrow. Uh, but it really is just another step in the right direction for this particular drug. So I'm actually pleased to hear about this and I'm actually going to be excited if they can actually get some positive data from the clinical trials that they're going to actually be conducting on obviously a series of patients that reside in Germany from the Paul Ehrlich Institute and also patients from the UK from the medicine and healthcare products. So over to Jim on OGN trade. Well, what a beautiful trade this is right now. It's at 99 cents. Now I got in this, I was lucky to see this knife yesterday and I got, well, not the day before. Now if I saw this the day before when it was down at 76 cents, I would have loaded this thing up. I mean, I would have loaded it up big time. But yesterday, or today, when I noticed it was down there around 86, I got into it. So I dove into this thing, and, and then right after hours, it started bouncing. So I went ahead and I took some profit at 94, and I kept a little stake. Small, small stake. Now I wish I'd have kept a bigger stake. Now that I see it, it's at 99 cents. Well, this thing, like she said, this is uh, the second clinical trial or for uh and they're, they're doing it in germany and if i read right they're going to have like 200 patients yes that's correct yeah so this is you know it can bounce up a little bit off this news and pull back again you'll still have another chance to get back in this again i think but i think we can see this run up to at least 106 tomorrow and if we hit that 106 We'll go up to the 117 area, and I really like that 117, 119, and that's a real solid resistance for right now. But later down the stage, um, and I also read, I think I, they have money too. They have some money. Uh, yes, I did read that as well. And 13 they did. million or something like that. Exactly. So the what they're going to be doing with the cash on hand. Uh, which is actually works out well that they got the clearance because, you know, it's one thing to get clearance to continue with the phase two enrollment. But I mean, if you don't have the money, then, you know, we, we're talking offerings uh, in order to raise the capital. So the good news here is that they not only got the clearance to enroll the patients in phase two, but like Jim just mentioned, they have the cash on hand. And what they're going to do with the cash is they're going to use it to continue the clinical site expansion of the ongoing phase two clinical trial of the new drug here, AG013, that they've received clearance for to get the patients enrolled. So this is really good, good news, I think. And uh, we'll see again how the market's going to react to this news tomorrow. Yeah. So let's see if we, if, if you're not in it, you might be able to get in on a pullback between 92 and 95 cents. If not, let's see if we can take it to 106. And if it wants to break out and it gets popular and the, and the volume's behind it, it's a low float stock, we might be able to take it to about 117. And that's Ogan. Okay. RG, and go ahead. No, go ahead. RGSE <laughs> with some RGSE. Insider, insider buying nice. or something? Yes. Yeah, so RGSE, uh, you know, that's a real good solar ink. And uh, they actually... Um, have had you know they do the solar panels people be putting on their roof and uh, obviously solar energy so a lot of people are putting them on their home actually i was reading something too that some builders now when they sell you a new home your roof is not just coming with shingle there's no shingles you're getting solar panels on your roof which is part of some of these home builders uh strategies on helping homeowners make a purchase because it actually saves on your energy bills um so that's a good to know the other thing too uh as jim was just mentioning uh there has been also insider buying see so i think that uh, as a result you guys know i like tracking insider buying and uh rgse has had uh, the director purchased uh, 50,000 shares, around 46 cents. And then uh, couple, the week before, the CEO purchased 150,000 shares. And uh, actually, sorry, he purchased uh, 300,000 shares. 
and uh, that was at 37 cents. So still well priced on our GSC. And I'll let Jim talk about the, the chart, but uh, I think uh, the float is a good size. You know, it's not a massive float. And uh, I think uh, we should see some action on our GSE in the event you're not in the trade. Uh, definitely, this is a stock, I think, definitely to keep a watch for a swing trade. I really liked the weekly earnings report. And I actually had read as well that they are projected to achieve uh, extremely solid earnings uh, in, the up, in the future earnings uh, report that they're going to be having. So... I think um, for those of you not in it, I think you should listen to Jim's chart commentary because you may want to consider it for a potential swing trade. Well, I'm looking at the year's chart right now, and we were, I was flipping this when it was up here around the 89 range all the way up to about 156. All the way down, I was flipping that thing, and then all of a sudden we had a big hard sell-off about five or six months ago. We've been playing, hovering in this little channel right down here between the low of right around probably 30 cents, 31, all the way up to this resistance of 50. Today we closed at 49. So I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, this is, I'm liking this stock myself, but we are in the, in the dead of winter right here and it's getting cold and stuff. And that's the way I used to think about solar. But they've kind of changed around. They're ready to market in the USA, I hear. They want to be competitive with Tesla and their shingle program. So I'm looking at a year's chart. We're hovering right here around a resistance right now. If it wants to break out, it can break out to 52, to 53 cents, up to 57. And then that's where it's going to start gaining some real strong mustard, right around 62 something. So I'm going to pull up a 20-day chart on it. You'll get a better picture of it. Ooh, I don't like that. Somehow that grid got ugly on there for me. So we'll go to a 10. See, I had a low right around in here where it was right around 39. We've kind of hovered up in the past five or six days, up and down, up and down. And we had another breakout. So expect a small little pullback, maybe to around 45. This area right around here, 44. Keep it in a new channel. And watch it break out up to 52. And this is RGSE. And keep it on watch. I'm not in it right now. Okay, so Jim's not in it. But I just want to mention that I'm in it. And I'm in that actually from previous at around 46, 7 Oh, cents. very good. So uh, we'll see how this goes. Uh, I don't have really a large position actually. But I'm happy that it's finally going to start moving. So that's, that's actually, and the last but not least is because I'm getting people requesting OTC stocks and I'll talk about that in a sec. But this one here is uh, called LCLP and this is called Life Clips. And I actually um, was sharing this, shared to me through uh, Kiko. And uh, Kiko, as you guys know, has a partnership with myself and Jim for I Love Stocks OTC um, classes that we just started kicking off on Tuesday. Had a phenomenal, phenomenal turnout and actually have had more people signing up than just the other night. Um, and already uh, today, people made a 100% trade on uh, one of the picks that was discussed in the class. And we have a new one. And I'm actually going to share it with the audience because I want people to learn about OTC stocks. It's not just about picks. It's about, you know, why is this pick going to move? So I just want to talk quickly about the reason why I'm liking this one and uh, why it was brought up. So one of the ones that we like here is this LCLP, which is called Life Clips. And they have basically an LOI, which is known as a letter of intent. And what's going to basically happen is they're going to have a transaction that's going to basically convert exist, existing debt into equity. And the transaction will be on or about November 20th. So this is a short trade on the OTC. You may not need to swing it. You may want to just trade it and see what happens. And uh, because the transaction is going to close around Monday or Tuesday next week. So... Uh, 
on until the deal closes because then the equity will, you know, the debt will become equity. So I think that's great news on this particular stock had some decent volume and Jim can talk about uh, the chart and uh, in it here from the zero one one zone. So we'll see what happens on that in the next uh, couple of days. Okay. Do you this, want to talk about that chart? Yeah. LCLP. I'm looking at a yearly chart right here. Um, there's a couple nice little areas. I'd like to see it pull back if it could. And that would be right around the 08 area or maybe the 0009. So those are two little entries that I would like to try to get in it. But we also could pull back to here to 0 0.001. So that's kind of how this thing's going to move up by just looking at the way the channel is on the way this chart's been. It's going to be moving up like 0 0.001, 0 0.0011, 12, 13 all the way up. Now see a little resistance right here around 14. Then it could keep, like I said, now it starts getting a little bit bigger. We're up here around 16. So I'm going to just keep it on watch. LCLP, I'm going to pull up the 20 day real fast. Yeah, I'm kind of liking it right around here, around 108, 109, 110. So if it has, if it pulls back any, that would be your entry level. This is LCLP. Okay, Vegas. Okay. Well, I just want to just let everyone know. Um, we've kind of been away from the YouTubes a little bit. We've been consumed, really, just getting involved in helping people with the OTC night school. We've been just overwhelmed with getting everything set up. It wasn't even so much about organizing the class because that's all done. It was just really the amount of registrations was just uh, substantial and uh, just overwhelming. So. Um, just really happy about the results and happy that people are learning uh, tonight. Actually, the class is going to actually learn about dilution. And we're also going to look at financial statement and how to read a company's debt profile to really know, should you really bother uh, holding on to this particular trade or even bother putting money in the trade. So we're going to have some really interesting conversations. And all the sessions are recorded and live, so that's what makes it extremely engaging. So we're happy about that. And uh, if you're ever interested in a future class, please uh, message and let me know, and I'll be happy to help you. And uh, even if you're in class, it's fine. Um, you're welcome to join us in our chat room during the week. We are live on voice, and we you have a free two-week trial. If you decide it's for you, it meets your need learning, then you're welcome to join the room uh, for if uh, it meets your needs. It, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. You know, it matters really that it meets what you want. You know, it doesn't matter to us if someone joins. If they join, we're happy, but we're just, ha we're happier that you're learning and you're making money. You know, we don't need people just to join to join. It's not a numbers game for us. If people join us, it's because they're learning and they enjoy the, the trading journey. Really, it is. You know, it's not a, it's it's uh, not, you know, something that you just get in here and get picks. We want you to to, to learn things and understand. And uh, you know, Jim is extremely helpful on voice. And you know, he did say one thing the other day. You know, he trades one or two stocks at the most. And I have to tell you, I've been getting a lot of good messages from newer traders, especially new traders, that really really love his style and love his pace because they find trading sometimes when it's very busy, overwhelming. And the fact that he trades one stock or two at the most or one stock over and over, he just, it's just helped them tremendously, you know, to feel calm and relaxed. People are running accounts and that. So on that note, I love stocks. Love you guys. And uh, you guys have a good night and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, this is the aftermarket report with Vegas and Jim, November the 15th, 2018, and we love stocks.